All right, Coach Ray, tell us your general thoughts on the upcoming season. Well, I think this is our, our most talented team, our, our deepest team. Um, I thought in the past that we lacked depth when it came down to it, especially when you're dealing with injuries or foul trouble. Um, so I, I really like our talent. I really like our depth. Um, the question that we have is we have inexperienced talent and inexperienced depth. So to me, how quickly we go from being inexperienced to an experienced team um, will tell the truth about what our team really is. What do you like most about your team this year? Um, first thing that we need is we need somebody to affect the rim. I thought in the past, both offensively and defensively, when people came in, we didn't have anybody to challenge somebody at the rim as a rim protector to affect the shot, to change the shot. Um, so we went out, we got some length, and we got some athleticism. I think also on the offensive end, affecting the rim, we didn't have anybody where we just felt like the guy could just go up and close off and finish and dunk the basketball, where we didn't have to teach up and unders and things like that. I wanted to get away from that. So I like our length, I like our size, but once again, that size and length is inexperienced. Is inexperienced the thing you think is going to be the biggest challenge for your team this year, just youth overall? Yeah. Yeah, if you look at our team, we have three guys coming back that have played Division One college basketball before. Um, and so, like, those three guys coming back, we really like them. Our, our point guard, Jonathan Dalton, was second in OVC and assist a turnover, and obviously that's an important stat. Uh, Ladarius Brewer was on the all-newcomer team and averaged 16 points a game. Uh, Mark LaRose was a guy that really did a great job for us in the middle. Um, that was a junior college transfer, and we had a young man. Um, by the name of Isaiah, that really only played 11 games because of a broken foot. Um, so beyond that, we don't have any experience. So I, I think I really like our guys that have the experience, but we have so many guys that's going to be thrown into the fray. Give us general thoughts about the OVC as, as a league, as a conference. What, what, are you, what are you looking at this year? Yeah, I think the OVC is such a dynamic league that changes from year to year because you just don't know how this transfer, transfer is going to perform. Um, you got freshmen that come in and make an impact. You have guys that get better. Um, so I think it's a, a team that always like comes to the forefront that you didn't think was going to be very good. So you're always going to have your mainstays where you have guys that have built programs. Uh, Belmont has built a program. Murray State has built a program. And then you just got to wait and see how everybody steps up. But if you look at a team like Austin P who was picked to be second to last last year and ended up finishing third in our league, you're always going to have somebody in our league that ends up changing their status. Um, talk to us a little bit about the tournament being back in Evansville um, again this season and your thoughts on Evansville and the venue, and et cetera. Yeah, well, the Pocket City is a place that I've become familiar with. Um, I've uh, coached in the state of Indiana. I was seven years uh, at Indiana State and four years at Purdue. Um, so I'm familiar with the passion that the people have uh, in the state about basketball. And I think Evansville does a terrific job of putting on this tournament. And I think it's also a venue that a lot of fan bases can get to, and they do an unbelievable job of, of being hosts um, and, and showing hospitality. So I'm excited about it, the venue, um, where you play at. Um, if you come in here, our guys get excited about the place that they see because they see it's such a, a nice facility.